one there, sorry. Okay, I hope you're doing well, guys. So your message is already here in front of me, and the first part of it, at least, it's really incredible. Um, first, I want to mention that while I was doing your reading and shuffling your cards, I was seeing a lot of fours, and many of you know that's kind of a twin flame vibe, so that may be relevant to you. I want to actually just read one comment from The Fresh Eyes, because there was a sentence, and it caught me. Um, oh, yeah, okay. So it talks about the destiny between both people here, though they may not see it exactly the same way. It's because it's obviously based on their perception. Everyone has their own perception. Um, but this destiny is intertwined and ultimately inseparable. At some point, both will see the same vision is what this card talks about, okay? Really interesting. You may be dealing with someone you have a bit of an age difference with just because you can see the youthful, more youthful face and then the um, elder face, right? And what that has to do with is maturity and then an innocent energy. So someone could be like really innocent in love and like wanting to do things and the other person could be like, no, we have to take time. Anyhow, point being your destiny is intertwined and eventually you're both going to see this in a way that works. But what I get with this, because the main theme of this card is about a blank canvas and drawing whatever you want. Maybe you want to start looking at this in a different way or getting a different perspective or doing some sort of research or getting out there. And like I, when I say research there, I almost mean it's like living, like living is the research, getting out there and doing new things and taking a break from this and then coming back with a fresh set of eyes. So Aries, I'm really excited to see what's going to come up for you. I do want to mention I have a new tier on my Patreon, $4.44, and you still get access to everything. It's just no discount for personal readings. So if you'd like to join, because I am going to be doing an extended, now is a great time to, um, and I really appreciate it. You helped me with my life mission here. And that's that. Okay, let's get right into this and see what's showing up. Ooh, so Aries. I feel like you have your eye on someone. And I actually do feel that this person is younger. This could be a same-sex relationship, by the way. I'm just going to put that there because that's what I'm getting right now. Um, but it doesn't have to be, obviously. That's an option here. But I'm just seeing, like, you have your eye on someone or someone has their eye on you. You have a very strong connection. You may have met this person out at a party, um, like, with a lot of people. So it doesn't mean it happened any time recently. You may know this person from the past because there are not too many parties going on at this time, right? But someone is definitely, I feel more that someone is having their eye on you. However, there is some sort of, uh, isn't this interesting? I'm getting the word lockdown. Let me turn this around. I'm getting the word lockdown, but I don't think this person is in lockdown. I just think that there is something locking this person down at the moment. It could be their own thoughts, their own fears, their own mindset. Um, you know, maybe they have to take a different look at things or look at things in a different way so they can stop feeling, um, I don't know, like they are, they're lacking or something like that. Five of swords, not a very good energy, right? We have the six of cups. So this is an energy of knowing someone from the past and maybe things ended in the past, maybe because you were both meant to go on a certain journey. Maybe when you met each other, you didn't know this person was so into you. I actually really do feel, though you may be an adult, like let's just say you're 40 even, right? Your person may be 60. Like I'm seeing an age difference here and maybe it's not an age difference. It could be a level of maturity difference. Okay. So this person could be very high profile or very important, have a very important job, a very uh, high respect, highly respected job. And you too could have a great job or be independent. Like I feel like you're both doing well. You're just for some reason on different levels and that could be the age, okay? Um, and I do kind of feel like this person knows you from before. Imagine this person was your doctor. <laughs> I don't know, just, you know, something. Um, I feel like in the past when you were with this person, it was like, no, that was the answer. And, you know, that's just what I'm getting here, whether you're a man, woman, whoever you are. But I feel like for some reason you were not able to come together. It could literally be because of the work. It, maybe you met in work. Maybe you did meet at a doctor's office, right? Maybe you did. Maybe it is your doctor. Um, but I feel like a professional 
there was professional circumstances. Maybe that's why this person was tied down and unable to move um, because of professional circumstances. But I do see that you really have a connection with this person and you were on this person's mind, just like they're on your mind. Okay. So let's see what else is coming up. So yeah, this person sees, I feel like you're dealing with an air sign Aries. You don't have to be, but I am. Um, or, or someone in the spotlight, okay, like something like that. But yeah, this person definitely sees this huge connection with you. Like, look at that. So the now, now the message I'm getting is this person knew from day one, when they met you, when they saw you, their spidey senses went off right away. But for some reason, they couldn't make the move or come towards you. Um, they could have been trapped for whatever reason, religion, work, professionalism, um, even in a past relationship, they could have been trapped. Let's get some more cards and see, but I don't really feel that that's the situation. I just feel like in the beginning, it was no, like forbidden fruit type of thing. Um, maybe it was you that said that. So yeah, may, if you're a female, maybe you were very, or anyone here, like whatever sex you are. Um, but I am getting this freedom, this sense of freedom. So maybe you were able to do whatever you wanted, but they were not. This is probably why there has been some time here, okay? Some time has passed here. I feel like you both always knew you would be together one day, even though... Um, you couldn't when you met. Now, I do feel that this person may have been involved in another situation from their past. It could literally be that they were working in the same spot for like their whole life type of thing. Um, but I do feel that this person was dealing with a situation. And I also do feel that that situation has probably um, come down, whatever that may be. We'll look at that after. And the four of pentacles with another four here. So yeah, I kind of do feel that this may have been a work environment you knew this person from or some sort of an environment where they were somewhat embarrassed if, not embarrassed, not that they were embarrassed about you at all, but embarrassed about what other people would think. Um, oh, you went with that young person or oh, you went with them. For meanwhile, you guys have a very serious connection here. You are like two peas in a pod, no matter how different you are. Um, there you are intertwined so ha <laughs> ha you know i feel like when you did meet you held yourself back or something like that in the past you had to hold yourself back patience was definitely involved here but not just that some sort of healing and it could have been your person that came out of a situation um and they're healing from this. I mean, this tower card under the six of cups can be anything. It can just be like when this person met you, it was like, kaboom, I'm in love with this person. But they were afraid to talk about that to anyone else because they're going to be like, no, that person's too young. That person's out of your league or that person you shouldn't do that for whatever reason. Okay. So let's get some clarification. Let's see what's going on here. Let me just, I'm going to clarify the first few, at least the first two. Yeah, so like, you are a shining star, Aries. You are, you, whoever, there was one person here that was definitely single um, and being successful, maybe beginning projects or, or going through some phases, transitional phases of some sort. Um, maybe you were, I don't know, you were doing something big and this is why this person got to notice you. Like, whoa, look at that person over there, right? But meanwhile... This person is dealing with some other things here. I see. And like, you know, I feel like this. I feel like when this person met you, they were either going through a transition or, or almost about to. And something happened where they got locked back down. And I think I used that term already. They got stuck again. Maybe they procrastinated. Um, but this person definitely has always wanted to come forward to you is what I get here. And... I mean, they may be, they may be, okay? Uh, they may be, they may still be hung as well. Let's get that five of swords. What's that about, please? So we have the three of cups. And like the first thing I heard is threesome. And it's not that, I don't think it's a threesome. It's probably th three party energy, right? Um, that's why this person was tied down. I mean, for some, let's just say it is a same sex relationship. This person was in a, uh, traditional relationship and um, they didn't want to be there and that may be the blow 
out here, right? That really may be the blow. This person couldn't stop thinking about you, whoever they are, is what I'm going to say for sure. What's the tower? Love, yeah. Like, there's something here that they just couldn't deny. So this person either left a situation or um, something happened in this situation or this person just couldn't get you out of their head. I mean, whether this person was in in a traditional relationship or not, it doesn't matter. This connection was explosive. Now, let's see this professional energy quickly. Let's just get to that. Well, this person may have chose you over their profession. Um, I'm going to have to clarify a little more in the extended, obviously, but right here, I want to tell us, how is this person saying here? Okay. I see I was being used by the people closest to me. Now, that's interesting. That can go for you or your person. Um, <laughs> it's This person wants to be with you, okay, is what I see. I want to call, but I have lost my courage. So I actually feel like that's the person that wasn't getting pursued or like wasn't in the relationship. You probably wanted to call this person, but you didn't know what to say. Because what do you say to someone when they're in a relationship? Like, how do you call them when you fully know that they are entangled somewhere else? Like, hi, you know, you know, like, I don't know. It can be confusing, right? But I am going to pull one more card over here about how this person feels feels about you okay let's see because clearly you are on this person's mind heavily so this person there's something here where you are a shining star okay but I feel also Aries you may not be someone who you probably didn't open up too much to this person so this person may be very curious like how you feel and maybe that's the reason someone hasn't called maybe it is them that lost their courage okay so that's interesting. I'm seeing the Empress here at the bottom. Um, someone may have been in an unhappy marriage, but I'm going to dig more into it in the extended. And if you want to join me, like I said, I have a new tier at $4.44. So it's real simple, real affordable. Bye for now.